I am uh, Dr. David Perez Mesa and I will give you a brief overview of our study. The hair follicle growth by stromal vascular fraction enhance adipose transplantation in baldness. Hair loss affects more than 1.2 billion people worldwide and there are 55 million men and 25 million women approximately, approximately in the United States. And this affects all types of races, ethnic groups worldwide with different types of pattern of hair loss for men and women. So there remains great interest in finding new and emerging therapies for the treatment of male and female pattern of hair loss. The autologous fat grafting technique is more than a hundred years old with the recent and dramatic increase in clinical experience over the past 10 to 15 years. Recently, in 2001, Patricia Suk and Associates published the presence of adipocyte-derived stem cells, ADSC, and abundant research has shown that adipose is a biologically active, complex, and important tissue. FESTA also in 2011 reported that adipocyte lineage cells support the stem cell niche and help drive the complex hair growth cycle. This study was very important from the liaison between the adipocyte and the hair growth cycle. Adipose derivate regenerative cells like uh, with the stromal vascular fraction, SBF, is a heterogeneous group of non-culture cells that can be reliably extracted from adipose using automated systems and these cells work largely by paracrine mechanisms to support adipocyte viability. Here is uh, the, 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 stromo, uh, the stromal vascular fraction, the SBF, that contains different type of, of cells, including stem cells between 1 to 5 percent, sometimes a little more, uh, endothelial cells, smooth muscle cells, blood cells, etc. While today autologous fat is transplanted primarily for aesthetic and reconstructive volume, surgeons have previously reported positive skin and hair changes post-transplantation. This follicular regenerative approach is intriguing and raises the possibility that we can drive or restore the hair cycle in male and female pattern hair loss by stimulating the niche with autologous fat enriched with the stroma vascular fraction. In this first kind of patient series, the authors report on the safety, tolerability, and quantitative as well as photographic changes in a group of patients with alopecia treated with subcutaneous scalp injection of enriched adipose tissue. These findings suggest scalp stem cells enriched fat graphene may represent an exciting and promising alternative approach to treating baldness in men and women.